Anyone who's ever been to Israel and been to the Wailing Wall has seen that the women have this tiny little spot in front of the wall to pray, and the rest of the wall is for the men. Mm -hmm. To me, that's a great representation of the American media, is that, you know, in this tiny little corner where the women pray, you've got Breitbart and Fox News and, uh, you know, a few others, and then from, from that, from there on, you have CB, CBS, ABC, NBC, Huffington Post, Politico, whatever, right? All of them. And that's a problem for me because even if it was reversed, if it was, you know, vastly, mostly, you know, right on the right and a little bit, that would also be a problem for me. There's one fox. Yeah. There's one fox. Yeah. And there's many, many, many more organizations on the left. So if you say, well, you know, people, are, you know, they, they're lying about this and this propaganda and whatever, and they're pushing their viewpoint. Oh, well, the other side does that too. Yes. Both sides do terrible things. Both sides lie. Both sides manipulate. Both sides, you know, uh, push their point of view. But the problem is that the weight of all of these organizations on one side of the political spectrum, yeah. when you turn on your computer or you walk past the TV or you see a newspaper headline, in, you know, in the grocery store, if they're all saying the same thing, the weight of that convinces you that it's true. Yeah. You don't question it because yeah. everyone is saying it. Yeah. And, um, and unless you seek out Breitbart on your computer, you're probably not even going to know what the yeah. other side is saying.